All right, we can go ahead and get started with some introductions. Hi, everyone. My name is Jennifer Hewins. Some of you may already know me. I work in the admissions office at RISD. Um, welcome to our online open house. This session will focus on the Master's in Industrial Design program. And with me today, I have Ayoko. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us and um, your interest in an um, MID program. Uh, my name is Ayako Takase. Thank you, Jen, for uh, setting this up. Um, I am a graduate program director uh, of the MID program, also associate professor at the industrial design department. And um, we'll be sharing the uh, sort of an overview of um, the program, uh, the things you may have questions about, and then we'll move on to uh, move into a more casual uh, session where other additional uh, grad students will be joining to answer your questions more in a kind of more intimate, casual way. And then with uh, us, we have Veer and Chen Lin. Uh, Veer is a thesis student, if you want to in quickly introduce yourself. Hi, guys. My name is Veer. I'm in my second year of the MID program, and I'm currently in my second year. So I'm happy to be here to like answer all your questions. And it's also nice to have all of you guys here. Chen Lin? Hello, I'm Chen Ling. Uh, I'm a two-year program student, and I'm coming to Taiwan. And I've just been here for two months. I hope I can answer your questions. Right. Thank you. All right. So should I just jump in to the presentation? OK. So since we have kind of a limited time, um, I'll be right. Yeah, there's a chat happening also for the next session because it's a webinar and you can't really see face to face. So we want to move to the other Zoom. So just please uh, copy that link, please. And I'm going to share my screen. Okay. So. Uh, so welcome to uh, MID at RISD Grad Open House. Um, this was the last graduating class. Uh, we were having a final cookout uh, to celebrate their graduation and grad show. Um, but welcome to the space. We're really glad to have you. Uh, this is sort of overview of what I'm just going to kind of run through. And I'm sure you're going to have many questions after this even then. Uh, so hopefully we have uh, uh, en enough uh, good resources to share with you so that all these things are answered and um, you are kind of left with no questions. So first thing we're going to go over is MID mission, curriculum, and what studio and thesis work looks like, a few examples, and uh, facilities that we have, and also like funding and fellowship or other financial assistance we have, and, and then we'll move on to the Q&A session. Okay, so uh, MID mission. Uh, so the goal of the Masters of Industrial Design program at RISD is to educate designers to make <clears throat> society basically better in just world. Um, we, our, pra our, our teaching and learning is strongly grounded in, in core ID practice. And we fully engage in the sort of future evolution of the field. So it's not just sort of like old school industrial design, but what future of industrial design is. And we expect our grads not only to, only to challenge the profession and lead in the new directions, but to also act in and impact the wide, wider, greater world. Um, our grads are positioned throughout the breadth of profession, working as entrepreneurs, uh, as a leaders in major design firms or corporations or strategists and innovators, researchers, educators, concept designers, product designers, really wide range. But we basically explore design as a vehicle for addressing social, cultural, and environmental concerns, uh, recognizing that design is not simply a professional service, but rather a way of connecting individual interests and values of social framework, right? And then so we really value everybody's diversity in our program, different backgrounds you may be coming in. So some of you are interested in 2.5 year program where uh, non-design background folks will come uh, into our program and we really value that. And then from for two two year program too, we have so many international students to people who you know studied actual industrial design to graphic design to architecture, many different disciplines. And then um, this is a space to bridge your past and then to your future. 
uh, quickly about my, uh, our curriculum, we have two different tracks, as you probably already know. Um, it's basically a two-year program with an option to arrive half a year early in the winter, uh, which is January. So the new new folks are coming, arriving in the January 4th or so to start their 2.5-year program. Um, the first year of MID program is investigative and it really orients you to the program by introducing different methodology and then approaches in design. And um, everything in at RISD is not really kind of prescribed. It's based on sort of like a building modules where you have a core curriculum, but you have a lot of freedom to build things you want to learn things you the classes you want to take skills you want to build so you have to have a sort of you know a self-directed engagement to be able to navigate through the curriculums uh, um, and uh, academic years so to first introduce about 2.5 year program is when you arrive in the winter and when what we call winter session we uh, have you take introduction to industrial design so this orients you in the sort of study of industrial design really rapid course concentrated foundation of industrial design. So for those who do not have design background, hopefully this is a sort of like boot camp in a way to get you up to speed. And in the spring moving on, you have shop orientation to orient all the shops and equipments and tools that we utilize to design and prototype. And we also have a communication introduction course that we kind of learn how to visualize and communicate our design ideas. And you're sort of thrown into ID Advanced Studio and mixing in with juniors and seniors. Uh, you uh, learn about the crit crit critique culture, how the design studios are run and how to kind of study, practice, model, draw, all those things. Um, and that's that's sort of, sort of your course studio. And then you take one elective. And in the first year, this is, so first year and second day year are you're going to be uh, you know joined with second uh, two year program students, but your course structures are different because you are actually completing your core requirements in that half year part. Uh, so you have more flexibility to take more electives, right? But uh, first year is you have a master's of ID graduate. Studio One, where you are a little bit more experimental, you're more uh, doing speculative or discursive designs and sort of learning a little bit more um, imaginative ways to engage with design. And you get to take other electives. It it's, gives you quite a freedom because you only have six credits. So RISD's credit system is that one class is three credit and you should get up to maybe 15 credits or so. So it's either five classes or four classes, one of which is two credits. So MID Graduate Studio meets twice a week, so it's just two credits, six credits. Um, and then the rest of the time uh, for other nine credits, so three classes, potentially you can take three electives. And then winter session is another good time to uh, focus on other electives. And then in spring, similarly, we have a Grad Studio 2, which where you will be switching from more experimental design to commercial design or applied design. Um, for specific audience or responsible design. And the second year is the thesis year, which we have a little bit more requirements where we have thesis research studio also meets twice a week. And then we have a grad thesis, I'm sorry, this is the wrong wording. Um, we changed the name to uh, mapping and narrative, um, but that's where you are connecting dots of what you are uh, creating in the thesis studio. Um, and then you have other electives there as well. And then so that we are right now in this fall. And during the winter session, you have elective options, but this is when thesis students may be taking thesis open research to sort of supplement uh, the fall research uh, and thesis development. And or just like Veer is doing, uh, you might be teaching a course of your uh, self-produced syllabus and course course uh, contents. Um, Veer is co-teaching with um, another MIT student. Uh, so this is sort of like a really exciting opportunity uh, that you get to choose to do uh, if you're interested in teaching. And in spring, we have thesis again and thesis 
uh, mapping narrative two again, and we you still have seminars or electives to take. So this is sort of like a run of 2.5 year. I won't go into too much of a detail, but a two year program is similar, except that just the construction of how this semester is broken into broken down is different. So in the fall, you only have three electives because you have to do grad studio one, shop orientation and communication introduction all, all in one. This this current year, we moved co uh, communication introduction to the spring. So Chen Ling is actually taking it in spring. So it's a little bit different, but I think we'll go, go back to this model. And winter session elective, spring uh, graduate studio two, and we have open elective time. But two year program is rather quick. Um, Vera and Chenling, oh, Vera can probably say how fast it's been. Um, but so in the fall, it's it's basically the same structure as two point five year students, where you have uh, thesis and uh, mapping a narrative as a core, and then you have uh, other electives, open research teaching, uh, and then the same for the spring. So just quickly, want to talk about MID thesis. Um, some of you may come in uh, having an idea of what your thesis should be or wants to be, um, but that may change. So keep open mind coming in, but this is like the, the big thing that we try to kind of prepare you for and uh, have a really great experience uh, doing your research and uh, design development. So what that means at RISD is that you will create a body of work, a thesis book, and you get to exhibit. So this is a, a both a culmination of the graduate experience at RISD and a catalyst for future professional and creative practice. So whatever you do as a thesis, hopefully that becomes a jumping board to what you want to do and practice in the um, professional field. And then, so we have a, a grad show uh, in the, I think this year, uh, convention center uh, in May, but we also have a online showcase, which uh, I really suggest that you check it out. It's uh, listed on the RISD website. And we also have a digital commons that you can access at the RISD fleet library. Sorry, uh, digital uh, archive of the thesis books are there. So if you want to find out what kind of things we're exploring, those those places, online places are great places to check out. Um, and sorry, why I don't know why that last piece is there, sorry. Okay, so I just want to quickly go over just the examples of the past work to kind of orient you what kind of uh, projects we're working on. Um, so we, I have, a, uh, I think the range from like 2018 to 2022. This is one of the discursive projects uh, in the first semester of the grad uh, experience. So it's grad one, where students uh, explored the fast food but in a very slow mode, right? So how slow can you eat the fast food? So it's sort of using um, your skills to kind of narrate, make things and um, showcase, but also, you know, challenging the na narrative of like fast food culture, uh, sort of like a social commentary on that. Uh, this is another example from that same class where um, the student Cohen kind of made this a really beautiful, but very sort of also kind of a scary sort of like a dental tools, mouse pieces to correct his pronunciation. Uh, he was a Chinese student and this was sort of a, you know, uh, a challenge in that you, if, if, if you're not a native student, sometimes you are not under, understood in how to assimilate, but you know, this is, this is sort of like discursive. So like, why must we do this? But he really explored and each one, I think his his video might be still up online, uh, but all these beautiful things actually worked and corrected his pronunciation uh, and accents. Um, so not only it was a really beautifully narrated challenge in sort of a stereotypes and biases and, you know, as a non, uh, native speaker experience, but as an, a, a design object, he created an amazing collection. And then moving on to grad two in that uh, spring semester, uh, this student, <clears throat> Hyun-sek, um, designed this uh, algae, basically 
a growing kit that you could use at home. And then depending on the growth of the algae, the, the uh, great gradation of the green created this sort of like a beautiful art on the wall. Um, and it actually worked fully with a pump and filtering system. Uh, we also do digital applications and lots of UI UX as well for those who are interested. It's not our focus, but students who want to get into that area have support in classes. Um, this was uh, challenging for the uh, Zoom uh, when we was just introduced during the very initial March uh, through May, the COVID shutdown. A student, uh, Ifan, was really, really frustrated TAing for this old professor who had no idea how to use technology. So he basically redesigned the Zoom specifically for holding classroom and uh, how students, TA and uh, teachers can uh, collaborate. This was a really well thought out uh, pro uh, project. And the other example of grad two project is where, uh, so this is Anne Din and her, this project actually won lots of awards and she was able to show in Milan and New York Design Week, but it's a, uh, uh, also, the how to uh, so the Asian diaspora culture and then uh, heritage of food and community culture, the things that you may not use a colonial measurement. How can you hand down the family recipe? So this was really customized around her family recipe in a little bit of this, a little bit of that approach of you know grandma or grandpa telling how to make soup. And this was a recipe, family recipe of pho, and she kind of made this beautiful nesting um, dish. And this is sort of an example of how the showcase happens in the thesis graduate sh uh, show and how it happens here. Uh, lots of people show up and you get to claim a fairly large space for yourself and you get to showcase your things. But at, again, you design the entire exhibit for your section um, along with your uh, classmates. And this is a great experience. Um, the other, uh, so this, this I have a few thesis examples as well. So uh, Elena explored the local squid farming as a sort of a resource to um, amplify as well as utilize their waste and turn it into something um, to communicate the important of uh, importance of, of the local resources, she created this beautiful squid ink and squid uh, waste um, garment, and also tools to how to gut squid. He she did a whole bunch of sort of system thinking approach. Um, the other example, very different, is a furniture collection um, designed by Jackie. Uh, she basically designed the furniture that only works when used in community or a pair or a family. Um, and this actually was featured in the um, Lost Graduation Show in Milan. Um, so, so, and this was sort of um, her thesis work. Uh, this is a little bit different approach, but this is this was about the data vis vis visualization where he wanted to tackle the way to visualize your involvement on in social media. How could you uh, explain who you are uh, or who other people are, not through who follows or how many follow or how many likes you get, but sort of like, um, creating visual algorithm to um, create patterns and distinguish between, you know, so it's like a right to left leaning negative to neutral to positive. And he experimented with a bunch of these algorithms to come up with visualization uh, rather than a uh, number of uh, likes and followers. <clears throat> this is a very uh, popular or famous project that went around a lot. I'm not sure if you have seen it, but Charlotte, uh, who also taught here for one year, explored the algae as a medium, but she challenged uh, cl climate crisis as her thesis and basically made um, an algae growing lab in her basement and made garments and uh, so many other beautiful things throughout the thesis. And uh, this was featured in many uh, design uh, blogs and um, shows as well. I believe this was uh, shown in uh, Cooper Hewitt as well. 
And this is some of the example of thesis books, what it could look, it could look in any form possible, the way in which you want to narrate and document and share your work. Um, yeah, so moving on. So I don't know, I'm not following the chat, but Veer and Chen Lin are taking notes, okay? Um, and hopefully we get to answer your questions in the next session. Uh, so these are just the, um, sorry that it's just a list, but it's, we have a, a lot of like a, amazing facilities here at RISD. I'm just highlighting here the CIT building where you would be studying. Uh, we have MID studio, which whole floor is ours. And then the first year and second year students share individual desk space. And there's also classrooms. And then there is MID maker lab that's run by students. So we don't have uh, shop techs or anything, but the, it's, the, it's the monitors and maintenance and sort of like running is done by a group of students. We have basic shop equipment machines and digital fabrication, sewing machine, et cetera, printers. And then we have an industrial design building, which is on a different at the different location uh, for all the undergraduate studies. But as a graduate student, you will be mixing with undergraduate uh, students taking shop classes or others uh, classes called special topics or other electives. So you'll be here a lot as well. And we have really uh, extensive wood shop, metal shop, model shop, and digital lab. Here's some of the examples. So this is CIT maker space. Sorry, going back. This is the main industrial design building space. And then to the right, top right is CIT. And I think I have a video. I'm not sure if it will show. There we go. So this was the recent sort of documentation of um, energetic classroom session where uh, thesis students and uh, first year students are both having the studio time. I hope you can kind of get the sense of like our studio, it's really nice and messy and creative and fun. Okay. All right, so just really quickly, uh, I wanna talk about fellowship, assistantship and other scholarships because I get asked a lot. Uh, we have, uh, uh, in the form of fellowship, uh, we award these um, when we accept the applications. So this is not really something that we individually negotiate, but we, when you get accepted, you'll receive a fellowship. We give out fellowship, uh, you know, size depends on the needs base and some of, some, some parts merit, but uh, almost all of you will receive some form of fellowship. And we also have a pr presidential fellowship uh, a society of presidential fellowship, which is sort of a school-wide fellowship that's awarded to, I believe, around a handful of students, like 10 students. But you'll be competing to get this full scholarship uh, across all disciplines. So this is really prestige, uh, RISD fellowship um, for full ride. Uh, and sometimes we have industrial design students um, get accepted into this as well. You don't need to apply specifically you'll be selected uh, to move forward as a department recommendation if you become a candidate. And we also have a building tall presidential fellowship that is specifically for around students for who, who focus on sustainability and climate crisis. Um, this is also a full ride. Uh, when we say full ride, it's full tuition. It doesn't include room and board, unfortunately. Uh, but so sustainability focused design practice um, and uh, those who are uh, first generation students. Um, again, for this, you do not have to specifically apply for either. Uh, it's sort of like selection process is automatic. And then once you come to RISD, you will receive or have an opportunity to participate in graduate assistantship. So Veer and Chen Lin are the gra uh, grad admission assistants who kind of help sort of bridge me, the department and the prospect students. They take care of a lot of uh, questions and answering and tours and things. And then we also have teaching assistant and a research assistant and then uh, departmental program assistants. And then we have really sizable, small 
uh, but a scholarship within the department as well. Um, I just explained all that on the other one, so I don't need to <laughs> go over this. Uh, but I think there might be something else. So just going to the different, like um, grad assistantships get paid more than the work study students. So it's really great to try to get a uh, grad assistantship. There should be enough uh, positions for everybody to get. Uh, so when you come in as a new student, these things, positions are, positions are announced and you are uh, you get to apply and you get assigned. Uh, graduate research assistantship is a great way to get to know faculty and do research under them. Um, so you can see the different pay rate. And then we also talked about the teaching position of faculty of record. Uh, you get, uh, this number might be a little bit old, uh, but you get paid for uh, teaching the course. Um, so these are some of the other uh, departmental uh, fund that I mentioned, Fred, Fred, Fred Roddy Memorial Scholarship. And we also have ID Health Fund and other uh, fund that's getting developed, Mark Harrison Fund. Depending on the uh, project's needs, you get to uh, uh, ask for uh, supply reimbursement or uh, support for um, materials. Okay, so that's the end of the sort of a, uh, coverage. And if you could copy this link, you can't copy it right now, but I hope you have a, I'm gonna stop share, hold on. Okay. Great, and thank you for pasting those there. Yeah, so all in the chat was just like me dropping links in okay. there we're talking <clears throat> about. But yes, um, as Ayaka was saying, the conversation is going to continue. Um, you'll want to click that link in the chat. Um, I can stay and hang out here um, to make sure that everybody migrates over to the correct Zoom. Um, okay. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for everybody who joined here and I hope that you will move to the different Zoom room and there will be a few more students joining. So you'll hear uh, two year and 2.5 year students perspectives and uh, you will jump in whenever possible to sort of answer any of the questions you may have. Great, okay. thank so you so I'll much. I'll see you soon, thank you, bye. Thank you, Vera, thank you, Chinglin. <laughs>